Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding reformat department table and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past six months a couple of times, right? Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called department with three different columns, ID, revenue, month, and these are the data types. The combined columns ID month is the primary key of this table. The table has information about revenue of each department per month. Okay. The month has values Jan, Feb, March up till December. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to reformat the table such that there is a department ID column and a revenue column for each month. Okay. Order of the result does not matter. So here, if you look at this example, right? So we have different ids different revenues and the months so basically what we need to do is for one column should be for id right so let's say id is equal to one then january revenue february revenue march revenue up till december revenue right and then for department id one for different months what is the revenue and if the revenue is not there so you return null similarly for all the departments right so that is what you need to do so for example if you look at it right so department id one Right, so department ID one uh, in January eight thousand, Feb seven thousand, and March six thousand. Right, so it should be one, then eight thousand, seven thousand, six thousand, and the remaining columns like April to December it should be null. Similarly for department ID two, so there is only for January, so everything else should be null. So if you look at this, like this is what we are having, right? Uh, so let me just so yeah, ID Jan, Feb, March, so eight thousand, seven thousand, six thousand, and everything else is null here. Right, so this is what we need to do. So if you watch the previous video, the number 149, right? So it is basically exactly the same question, right? Just the table is different that, you know, all you need to do is group by different IDs, right? And then return the IDs and you need to use case when statements and sum or max, etc. to basically return the revenue right and in case and since we are using case when statement so case when something is true then return revenue else you return null right and you perform that aggregate sum or aggregate max right and that is going to do it so what we need to do is from this table called department right we are grouping by right so group by the id then return id and then what we need to do is so basically case when and why we are using case when statement so basically if you look at it this is basically just a pivoting of this table right so you are simply you know uh, making the rows in this month column into different months right since we are using MySQL, we cannot use the pivot function because there is no pivot function in MySQL. If you are using MS SQL Server or any other database, so probably there is a direct pivot function. So you don't need to use case when statements just like I am doing here, right? So case when month is equal to Jan, right? So you return the revenue, right? Return revenue else return null since you started the case when statements you need to end this as well and and then once you have that so you either use sum or you can use max right so let's use max again uh, in the last video also we use uh, max uh, we can use sum as well does not matter so and as right so as what is the uh, alias so jan revenue right so jan revenue and why is this working so as i told in the previous video as well right so here one let's say for department id one right so this these three three rows first one and the last two rows are basically one group because we are grouping by id right so it will say okay case and month is equal to Jan. so it is jan so it will return 8000 then for this and this it is feb and march so obviously it is going to return null right so else null now it is say it is going to uh, say okay maximum of 8000 null and null right so if you 
know about this aggregate function since my my sequel so what it basically does is it ignores the null value right if you are using sum and max but if you are doing count then it is not going to ignore the null values right so here when we write max 8000 commas null and null so basically it is ignoring the null values and returning you the 8000 and that is why you have 8000 here 7000 here 6000 here etc right so basically you you get that right so you need to re repeat the same thing from january till december right so let me just you know copy paste this and make that so that you know we can save our time okay so i went ahead and copy pasted this and made the adjustments right so feb march up till all the way up till december right so uh, i think we have it right so let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yep, this is accepted our, our output is same as expected output right so uh, let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how i do it again not a very difficult question but it is lengthy in the sense that you need to write every for every column you need to write this case win statement so obviously here you only have 12 so since there are 12 months you only have 12 columns but remember like since it can be multiple so you need to follow some loop to do this uh, unfortunately in mysql there is no pivot table let me know in the comment section if there is a way to do this using loop in mysql can you do that if you think there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this problem let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video